guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to the crew and if you're back I mess with you so pause before you get into this amazing video I want to give a big shout out to teeny blends teeny blends is a brand that I have been working with if you've seen my Instagram you've seen a little post here and there and you know all that gorgeous stuff but I kind of want to get into it on my channel as well because this is something new I'm trying out and I'm pretty impressed um, this brand talks about teas skincare and just a few other things too so if you're interested you can click the link in my bio and if you want to try some of these products out i have a code for you to get money off i have two codes rach law 20 to get 20 percent off all orders over 24 dollars and then if you're not spending that much you can still get 15 percent off with my code rach law 15. so other details um if you're interested in that will be in the description box but i want to show you guys what I'm drinking right now. This is the Focus Blend and I thought it was perfect because I'm going back to school, second semester, junior year, no games, okay? It's about to be jam-packed. I have track season, um, I have all these AP classes, I have extracurriculums, I have the SAT, and I really just want to be 2020 focused, okay? So it kind of tastes like peppermint. I really like it because it's like cool and refreshing. But another thing I like about this brand is their tumblers. I've seen this brand on Instagram a lot. Um, if you guys know Brittany Renner or other influencers, I've seen them promote this. So I've always been curious and I see what they're talking about now. I have the lavender tumbler. My favorite part about it, it's kind of funny, is um, it comes out like this little cup. So if you have a cramp from your period and you just want to drink like some tea and you put some aspirin or Advil in here, that's great. Um, if you have like a sore throat and you want to put like some cough drops, Ricola, whatever, you can put anything, literally anything in here. I'm taking medication for my acne as we speak, so it's great that I can just kind of like take my pills um, after I eat food or whatever. So I like how it has that compartment. I also like how if you are a big tea drinker, you know that there's like tea bags and there's loose leaf tea. I used to stay away from loose leaf tea because I never had anything to like strain it with or you know anything to really drink it. So I would always choose for bags, but with this, it has a strainer. I don't know if you can see that um, in it. So you can put your loose leaf in here. Another really cool thing is that it comes out like if you ever want to wash it or you know if you just want like double protection. I think that was like super cool. And then there's a wristlet. So if you're running and you don't feel like carrying something in your hand or you know if you just don't feel like being regular, there's a strap for you. So this is Teamy Blends guys. Now that I've kind of said my piece, I think it's something cool that you can really try out. There's a bunch of different blends out there. There's energy, there's calm blends, whatever you're into, I'm sure there's a tea for it. So I think it's really cool. And let me know if you guys want to try it out. Want to be like your girl. Teamy Blends, team me up. Okay, we are keeping it real with the acne. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy this raw, uncut version of myself where I have this like lion mane. It's, it's cute. It's quite intriguing. <laughs> I always pray that like people who I meet in real life and I tell them I have a YouTube channel, I hope that they choose the right videos to watch. Disclaimer. This is not the right video to watch. This is giving you like... My hair has been in a bun for about two weeks realness and it's just not what I'm trying to exude right now. So that's the whole point of this video. My 2020 hair routine. So I know you're like, oh my God, Rachel, where are you? You didn't even do your intro. Well, if you're new, welcome to the crew. And if you're back, I mess with you. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I missed you guys so much. I've been taking a break from filming just because school has really been on me i'm just really trying to perform to my highest ability which means like no distractions all focus all gas no breaks um not being afraid of hard work all that stuff so i may do like a life update get ready with me but i mean how many of those can i do without you guys actually getting tired of knowing what's going on in my life you know like some things just are not interesting 
Oh wait, this is the wrong mode. I was wondering why I looked a little pasty. Okay. Today I'm downstairs in my washroom and I want to show you guys how I do my curly hair. A lot has changed since my last routine and I'm really excited to share things with you. The number one thing I wanted to talk about was having like multi-textured hair. I was always convinced I had heat damage, which I did have some, but after like years of not putting heat on my hair, trying to stay consistent with like biotin, hair mass, protein, all that stuff, I was still really annoyed because I had like looser strands in the front. When I went to a natural hairstylist, which um, if you are interested in that, you can see my glow up with me winter edition. But she basically told me that she can see at my roots, it's not damaged, it's just that I have a looser curl pattern towards the front. I have more like, she wanted to say like 2B, 2C. Me? I noticed that I had more tighter coily pieces towards the back of my hair. So when you have two different textures, you can almost play around with the combination of products you use, what works for you, whether it's finger curling or diffusing, things like that. And I wanted to showcase that because I never knew that you could have two types of hair. I really didn't. Call me slow, call me stupid. Don't call me stupid. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video because I know you're thirsting, you're wanting, you're begging, you're asking for it. So um, who am I to hold that against you? Okay guys, here I am about to comb out my hair and just detangle it a little bit. I want to let you guys know that I'm not really detangling my hair. I'm just making sure that I don't slip my finger through a knot and bust my skull while trying to maneuver through this realm of fur on top of my head but yeah as you can see it's painful but i'm getting in there and i'm just trying to make it just easy for him. on to the main event i'm going to use ogx's argan oil shampoo and conditioner the whole line is really just great but what i'm doing is massaging my scalp this is going to stimulate blood flow promote hair growth and really just loosen up those dirt particles because if you didn't know dirt is mainly stored um, in the scalp of your hair that's where the grease is and of course you want to work through your mane too so that's just like your other loose strands but make sure that you're getting into the scalp because that's what's going to really clean your hair I also want to note that yes, you should rinse your hair with cold water. You know me, it's a little hard, okay? I like to feel warm. But when I finish rinsing out my conditioner, so that's gonna be the final step you'll see in a minute here, um, I'm just going to rinse with cold water and that's gonna really seal my hair follicle and you know decrease any frizz. Here I have the conditioner in and I'm just combing through my hair. Here you can see my curls and you can see the looser curls. Yes, I do have a few strands of heat damage still, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna be using the Mile Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. I love it because it's so thick. I don't like hair mask or like leave-in conditioners um, with a runny consistency. So this is perfect for me and it smells so good. I prefer to sleep with my deep conditioner in, but just because I'm on a time crunch and I really wanna get the results for you guys, it won't kill you to just leave it in for about an hour or two. Um, I would just prefer like if you have more time to sleep with it like in a plastic um, shower cap and maybe like a hair clip or something, nothing that puts tension on your hair. So no like hair ties or anything like tight buns. I would just do something loose and cover it with a cap because you're gonna see really nice results. It's gonna be super soft, super fluffy and moisturized which is something that I deal with just because I feel like everyone with curly hair is fighting against having like the dry, the itchy, the tangled, okay? No one likes a wire bush on top of their head. I'm really not shying away from putting too much product on my hair just because you want it to be moisturized, right? So this is the time to do it, especially when you're about to rinse something out. I would rather put way too much deep conditioner than put way too much leave-in conditioner because at least this you're washing it out you know i'll see you after the function Do you like 
It's time to start styling my hair, but first always moisturize with a thick cream or a leave-in conditioner. I like Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore one. It's about nine to eleven dollars at various stores, but it's been my staple for a few years now and I swear by it. So I am not shy at all. As you can see, I'm slathering in it in the front, in the back, on the crown, on the ends, like literally everywhere. I feel like I have just seen my hair when it's dry, it's scarred me for life, so I'm always prone to add more product than I should maybe, and I don't really care. I've kind of analyzed and deciphered a lot of other people's hair routines just from being on YouTube, and I'm just curious like everyone else, right? I wanna find the products that work for my hair type, and I wanna look up to people who have amazing curly hair. Not saying that I do, but I mean, curls are kinda of popping now. I think the thing that's important is to find your combo of a moisturizer and a styler. As you can see, I'm using Affigy's Curl Thick, Curl More Work, Curl Style Definer, you know, um, you saw the tube, so I'm not gonna pronounce it. But this has been amazing to me. Um, I started using it and I instantly fell in love, honestly. Um, I've used Camille Rolls Curl Maker, I've used the Myel's Styling Gel, and this has been cheaper. It's about $8 at the beauty supply store. And it's been more effective for me. So this is my like combo that I swear by. And now I'm just finger curling my hair. If you don't know what that is, it's when you take um, looser strands of your hair. It doesn't have to be loose, but you know, that's just what I do. And I twist um, over and over around my finger. And this really just, as you can see, makes it springier, bouncier, and I think it's great for transitioning hair. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just finished all the manipulating I have to do to my hair today. Um, I finger curled it, I put some products in, and then obviously I washed it. But this is usually day one hair. I love to let my hair air dry just because I like to minimize any frizz or shrinkage and I like to apply the product when my hair is sopping wet. So there's not a lot of drying going in to this process. If you have to like go somewhere, I would say put it up in a pineapple, um, just on the top of your head with a scrunchie. Something really loose so it doesn't like ruin all the finger curls that you made. But other than that, if you can stay in the house, that'd be best and just kind of let it hang um, with a long sleeve on. I know no one likes having like the um, water on their neck and their clothes and everything, but sacrifice for the hair. I'm going to insert some pictures of what it looks like now and then even when it dries it's going to be smaller because everybody knows day one hair it's a baby it's fresh you know it's um, it's not the best so tomorrow I'm gonna include some more footage of what my hair looks like when it's like in its full form when it's at its prime day two is the best day but anyways, um, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned a few tips and tricks because I know you did. If you knew every single thing that I said in this video, wait for the next one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.